with a day as a 15-year-old boy when the Lord Jesus passed by my way. And I've never been, my life has never been the same. I thank him for that. I'd like to thank Pastor for the opportunity to preach tonight. I uh, do not take this lightly, and I hope tonight that can be a blessing to you. Please take your Bibles and turn to 2 Timothy chapter number 3. 2 Timothy chapter number 3, verse 14. I'd like to thank Pastor and Ms. Sexton also for their unwavering faith and the stand that they've taken upon the Word of God. Uh, they have a, been an example to me of what a biblical Christian ought to be, and I want to thank them for that and tell them I would appreciate them. I also want to thank you, members of the Temple Baptist Church. You know, I thank God for the Temple Baptist Church, and it's been a privilege to be here, to be a part of what's going here, on here as God is working and I thank him for the time I've been able to share here. Um, it has definitely changed my life to be here, and I'll be eternally grateful, and I thank him for it. 2 Timothy chapter number 3, verse 14 says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity, Lord, and the privilege to be here tonight and to be able to share something from your word that you've laid upon my heart. Lord, I pray that you'll guide my words. Please fill me with your spirit. May everything that I say be used to bring honor and glory to your name. May you grant me liberty, Lord, as you so desire, and may thy will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. And as I was thinking about my life and where I'm at today, about graduation is coming up in a few days, I'll be graduating and, and moving on, I was reflecting upon what the Lord had done in my life, what he has done and what he is doing. I was also looking towards the future and what he, hoping what he will do and praying what he will do with my life. But the question came to mind, now what? What do I do next? I've been here for four years studying, preparing. That's what God has called me to do. And by his grace, that's what I've tried to do, study and prepare to serve him. But what do I do next? And this passage of scripture came to my mind and says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And as Paul was writing to young Timothy and encouraging him, the Lord also spoke to my heart and said, All you have to do is continue in what you have learned, and what's been assured in your heart, knowing of whom you've learned them. And tonight, in a brief time together, I'd just like to share you this, this theme, Continue Thou. First thing I'd like us to notice is our adversity and our continuing. Verse 1 of chapter 3 says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. And then in verse 13 it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And the apostle Paul is writing to Timothy, he's saying, Listen, in your day perilous times will come. Evil men will wax worse and worse. But even though all that may be true, continue thou in what thou knowest to do. And what thou hast learned, what's been assured of in your heart, in your life, knowing of whom you've learned them. And I think about us as Christians, even though I believe we live in a perilous time today. I believe it is a privilege, too, to live in a perilous time. But you know, the Bible is telling us here to continue. You know, it may not be a popular thing to be a Christian in today's age. It may not be a popular thing to follow the Lord. It may not be a popular thing to go out and embrace your community with the love of Christ, sharing the gospel. But though it may not be popular, and though it may be perilous in some places, we are to continue in the things that we have learned. And God has shown me in this passage of scripture that though no matter what I may face, where I may go, in the face of adversity, all I have to do is continue. Proverbs chapter number 24, verse 10 says, If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. You know, I'm grateful that I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And by his grace, as I leave this place, I hope that I can continue living for him. And I want to encourage you. No matter what you may struggle with, no matter what you may face, what kind of adversity you may face, continue thou. Not only do we see the adversity if we're going to continue, secondly tonight I want us to notice our accountability to continue. Verse 10 says, But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. And verse 15, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. And Paul is writing to Timothy, he said, you've seen my life, you know my doctrine, you've seen what I've had to go through, you've seen the Lord deliver me. 
You've known the scriptures since you were a child. You know how to live, and you are accountable for what God has given you. The Bible says, to whom much is given, much is required. Hebrews chapter number 9, verse 27 says, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. And Romans chapter 14, verse 12 says, So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. And one day you and I will stand before a holy God, and we'll have to give an account of how we lived our life. And we have to give an account of what he has given us and the things that we were to do that we did not do or the things that we did. And when I stand before God, I want to be able to say that I continued for him. And that is our accountability to continue in what he has given us and what he's taught us and what he's assured in our hearts and lives, knowing that we've learned those things from him. Not only do we see the adversity that we're going to face if we continue, not only do we see our accountability to continue, but thirdly tonight, I want us to notice the authority upon which we are to continue upon. And that is verse 16, if you notice with me. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And I'm grateful tonight that I don't have to continue in my own wisdom or my own knowledge because I have very little. But I'm grateful that I have the word of God and that is my authority for what I am to continue upon. And I'm grateful for this place and how God has taught me through his word and through the teaching and preaching of his word of how I'm to live and what I'm to do. And I pray, it is my heart's desire as I leave this place, that I will go and continue in those things. And tonight, perhaps you're a fellow graduate. I want to encourage you, as you go out and serve God where he's called you to, continue. Don't let it die. I've seen too many people, and you have too, who have started doing a work for the Lord, but some, some reason, some, somehow they just quit for some reason. Don't let that be us. And Temple Baptist Church, I want to thank you for allowing God to use you to minister to my heart and students like me. But I want to encourage you. Continue. Don't let this work die. Continue living for the Lord. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time that we've had together. And Lord, I thank you for, Lord, how you've used this place in my life. And Lord, I pray that you'll help all of us to continue living for you. We love you and thank you in Jesus' name.